All right, so if you want to be adding custom fishing mechanics into your game, now I will say this is a Stardew-like type fishing mechanics. They tried making different variations, so I will applaud them for that. However, I will inform you guys now, it is a hefty price for a single-use plugin. At almost $12, I would recommend this if you really want to try to make your server custom, but if you can't spend or if you have to spend it on other plugins to ensure your server works properly, please go on that first as for a single use plugin such as this, this is going to be more if you have the extra income and you just want to do it, but don't force yourself to get it if you cannot. As again, it is a hefty price point. If they lower it for anything for under 10, I can highly recommend it, but at the current price point, it's more if you really want it than get it and if you have the extra income for it. However, I'm gonna get into the skin and bones of this plugin. At the start, we do have baits that you can use within your rods. We do have a compass as well, and we have different types of rods. These will do different things. This is just a regular rod. Then we have a star fishing rod, a silver fishing rod, nature fishing rod, and a golden fishing rod. We can also go into the nether and fish, which is weird to say at least. Now, these are not all of them, but we do have a large variation of different fish as well. Going from carp, cat, a regular cod for some reason, gold, tuna, wood skip, octopus, and sunfish. Now, you will get regular loot from Minecraft as well. So everything you can get, you can set up in a custom loot within the config.yml. Within these fishes, you can also get a regular carp fish, a star, a carp fish that is golden star, and one that is silver star. So you can get different variations of each one of these. Now, if we take a look into the rods themselves, you can see this one grants you the ability to fish in lava. This one increases the chance of getting silver quality fish. The wild power makes it easier to be hooked but also increases the difficulty, and I'll show you what that means. Increase the chance of getting golden quality fish, and that's about it. We will start off with the simple fishing rod. And as you can see there, I did have an item on my offhand and it just got picked up, and here we go. Now we just need to actually finish catching the fish. Kind of like a game of tug of war, we just need to make sure that it's in the green, and we got a fish, that's simple. But let's go back to here. You can see that I did keep an item in my offhand and I kept a fishing rod on my right hand and I just, well, threw it in. That will automatically make the bait go into the fishing rod. And I really like the little splash animation that just makes it go one step further into an amazing plugin. There's a lot of stuff you can configure as well in which world this is whitelisted or not. I'm just gonna wait for this one. I'll show you the very next feature. So let's pull this one in and this one's a lot faster. I got a golden star there. I still managed to get it. It was very close to green, but as you can see, it can get difficult. Where's my fish at? There it is. And for this one, I just got a catfish. All right, now let's try the difficult one because it says the intensity should be increased. Let's throw this one in. There's that little animation that I just love. I wish Minecraft had a feature like that in general. And now we simply just wait. And there we go. I won't lie, that was not difficult at all, but you saw the main mechanic. Now, what I can do is I can run this command, custom fishing competition start, and then there is an example, but if, however, if you want to create your own, again, you can within the config. I'm gonna click enter right here, and the competition has started. In order to actually join it, all we need to do is just start fishing. And as soon as we catch our first fish, that's when it's gonna start for us, showing that we are participating within the event. And there we go, we need to click on the purple this time, right there, and we've joined the competition. There is 200, 275 seconds left, Currently, I am ranked number one and there are no other players. So I'll tell me my score from every time I capture a fish. Let's go ahead and get this one. And I somehow missed that. Let's actually use a green one here. And here it comes. Are you kidding me right now? And there we go. Got it. My score is now 2.0 with the, still the first ranking. Let's capture this last one. And now I need to get blue. I missed that. Oh, well. But we're going to wait for the time to end and then we'll see what our reward is at the end of it. But hey, while we wait, why don't you guys go in the description down below and check out Revive Node. Using Revive Node, you can add this plugin into your server and start your very own custom server today. Either just play with friends or start your very own community. I use them, I recommend them and don't miss out on this chance. They do giveaways constantly within their Discord. So make sure to join and try the promo code so you can get 15% off today without issue. Competition has ended. Here are the results. Congratulations, you got a prize. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to set that up in the configuration in order to receive the prize. However, it's right there, the results of the score and the competition has ended right there. All of this is completely configurable within the config of the plugin, but it's a really nice, unique feature. But now let's grab this star fishing rod, which grants ability to fish in lava. So we'll go into the nether and first step is, well, locating lava. Oh wow, why can't I get spawns like these when I'm in survival? So we'll do it right down here. All we have to do is just throw our rod in. It has that little effect as well. I have no clue how this works at all, 
primarily because I've never fished in lava and I don't think I plan to. Oh, oh, there it goes. And I'm hoping it's green because if not, and if it's reverse psychology, that'll be weird. All right, I got a void salmon. So it works just the same way and we get some nice particles showing off exactly what's happening. I like this feature quite a lot. One thing if it would be really cool if the developer could add is seeing the fish actually come to the rod, that would be amazing. And maybe that'll increase the value of the plugin just a little bit more. But as it is right now, I love the plugin. If the price was any lower, I highly recommend it. But as of now, that was the video right there, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to leave your ideas down below and what you want to see. Under that, I'm Diamond. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Cheers.